Hey guys, welcome back to another video. First of all, I want to say good morning. I am beyond excited about today's video. This is something that I've talked about for years and years, this specific color, and it's finally here, and I cannot believe that we found it. So it is a Birkin and 25 size, which is basically my favorite combo in terms of size and type of bag. I think I couldn't have gone with a better combination than the one that I picked, and I hope that after this, I can stop rambling about this bag so much, because you can see it on my past videos if you have followed me for a while. I've been consistently talking about this bag in this specific color for quite a while now and yeah I'm gonna make this a little bit of like a vlog because I also want to go out and style the bag that's going to be the task I want to make this steal with a little bit of winter outfits I think with all of this you may know which color it is first of all I want to explain this bag is not from boutique I actually got it from Redelux and for everyone that has been following me for a while you would be familiar with Georgia and Hunter who are the owners of Redelux but for anyone else that is new and this may be the first video that you watch from my channel Redelux is a pre-loved bag company they're based in the u.s very specifically in texas and if you visit their website you're gonna find amazing pre-loved pieces but most of them are in either new brand new or excellent condition they have a ton of hermes chanel botera bonetta louis vuitton and they're always able to find the hardest colors out there so every time that i've been in love with a bag from a certain collection that is always sold out they always manage to get one i am located in spain and as i said they're in the u.s but they do ship international and something that i found the most most amazing and convenient thing ever is that they cover customs so I never have to worry about the import fees when you buy anything from outside the European Union that sometimes can be a little bit of a headache that is something that they handle and it's so convenient for anyone that is outside the US and still wants to buy the packaging is always a 10 out of 10 they make you feel like you're buying from the store which for the price points of luxury bags you should always feel like that so they have their own stickers and their own little cards and their monogram paper I'm gonna show you all of it but it's always such a good customer service and I love their social media that is actually how I was hooked into this because they on Instagram post every single day their new arrivals and Georgia makes these reels with the bags that she gets in a ton of people start to tag me on the reel of this one because I've talked about this bag quite a lot and I do have to say it's not white so that gives me points because I was really close to buying a white one that I'll show but this is not white this is a color bag so I would highly advise to follow them on Instagram because that's where you can see everything that's coming out and they have really good content it's always so much fun informational and a lot of eye candy they also have youtube that i've made youtube videos with georgia in the past so i'm gonna link those in the description box in case you're interested in seeing her because i feel like when you get to know the person behind the company you feel a little bit more comfortable so after giving them the recognition that they deserve i was talking to georgia when she got this in and i told her can i see a picture it always starts with that and she told me that she thought about me when she got this bag because she knew that i wanted it and that it was so me and that i was going to love it so one thing led to another and the bag is here and we're gonna open it up and I hope that this is my most used bag for this year let's just give the mini Kelly a break and before I keep rambling because I know that I've talked quite a lot let's open the bag I'm so happy that I got the box because I lost all of my boxes from my other bags on the move I still have them they're just in Mexico so I'm gonna try to show the packaging and everything the best that I can probably talk less and show the bag a little bit more I am so so curious if the back color matches what I saw on the pictures this is like their own paper here is the authenticity certificate and this is a little thank you card this is the thank you card in case anyone wants to pause and read it and inside here is the authenticity certificate they do have their own wax seals that i also really love and i never want to break them it's right here this is the certificate of authenticity and you will receive this with every bag you buy from them and uh, here it is as i said it's a 25 probably everyone knows the color now but it's in Jo Poussin. I practice to say the color correctly, but if I'm still mispronouncing it, I'm so sorry, but it's basically pastel yellow. I'm just gonna need a minute to inspect it and like take everything in. It's in Tergo and Palladium. I'm gonna explain the Palladium, but it is more beautiful in person than in pictures. I think this is the type of bag that it's really hard to capture on camera. So I hope that the color is showing how it's supposed to be, but the bag is in perfect condition. Like it's insane. It's so beautiful. Of course, when I take the tag off and the stickers and everything, now that I found it, I really don't plan to let it go so the contrast with palladium 
I'm gonna explain why I didn't go with gold. I was on the wish list for this in my local boutique, but it's just really, really hard to find. You never see it. Even my essay told me like, it's probably going to be impossible. And I wanted this with gold hardware until I saw this specific picture on Pinterest. I'm gonna put it right here. That pic alone sold me that this color with palladium was going to look amazing. And it's here. So let's take everything off. I've been obsessed with Jean Poussa for so long and yellow bags in general. Like I've been wanting a yellow bag for years and years but finding the perfect yellow is so hard so i was always like no this is not the right one i want to wait and for the classic flaps i was always having a little bit of a hard time specifically with the shade and how it looked if it was caviar and when i saw a picture of japusa i was like that's literally what i've been looking for also i specifically wanted a birkin because i've just realized that i just love my birkins more also i was always on the fence on getting a yellow bag or yellow clothing in general because people tend to say that if you're blonde yellow does doesn't really suit you but yellow is such a bright and I don't know happy color and every time that spring and summer comes I just want to have something yellow this was of course the top of the top so because I am adding this something is going to go one bag in one bag out I'm not gonna skip on that on this one it's going to be a bit hard but it is what it is and this way I'm gonna take advantage of the buyback program and have the peace of mind like yes I added this I am definitely going to be sorting that out this week and I'll let everyone know what the decision is at the end but I have sold so many bags with with luck. So if you also want to sell any of your bags or downsize your collection, which is something that I did a lot last year, you should definitely check them out for that, not only for buying. So I've taken a minute to inspect the bag and to see it and it is love. I'm gonna take the tag off because I'm keeping it and the stickers and everything and we're gonna go out with it today. I also have a few trips upcoming. This one is definitely coming. I cannot wait to see how I'm gonna be able to style it. Taking this off. I also believe Georgia was looking to find another one, so they may have either the same combo or super similar, but it's Japusan. I just go back and you can see me talking about this bag on so many of my videos. So needless to say, I am really, really happy. I want to test it out with some twillies and try it on with different outfits and go out, put some stuff inside and properly start to use it. I almost forgot <laughs> this. Of course, it comes with the key and the clochette. And as for wear, as I said, I cannot find pretty much anything. The bag is perfect. I will leave your look social media, Instagram, YouTube channel. They also have TikTok and also my monthly favorites. So basically every first few days of the month, I sit down and I curate a little list of the bags that they have in stock that are my favorites. I'm gonna link that list on the description box and also add my discount code in case anyone wants to use it. But it's just Lou in case you want to take advantage of it. So let's tell the bag. I feel like dressing for today is going to be a little bit tricky because it's sunny. So so in theory, I should be fine wearing just a sweater, but because it's windy, if you're walking around, you're gonna get cold. Also, if you're in the shadow, you're gonna get cold. So I want the bag to pair with something that it's still going to be a bit of a warm look. But first of all, I want to show you the bag in natural light. Hopefully this shows the natural color of the bag. We're definitely gonna take the stickers off. This is basically the natural color of the light. Yellow, it's really hard to capture. It's natural color on camera. I've realized that, so it's going to be a bit tricky. This is literally my favorite sweater and I wish that I could just go out with this one But for the pants, I'm gonna keep this ones. I love the shade. I think it's really neutral So I'm gonna try to find a coat that it's probably the same or a very similar shade to the pants or my other option is the sweater I love the sweater. My only problem with this one is that it always shows a t-shirt underneath and I don't have any clean white t-shirts that have a V neckline so this is what we can work with. I could also take the t-shirt off, but then if I get hot, I'm stuck with the sweater and this happens to me really often. But I actually really like how this looks. So this is going to be option one, but if I go for this one, I'm definitely gonna remove the t-shirt. This is option two, definitely more monochromatic. Let me bring the bag. I feel like it does work out. I don't know which one I like better. This one is a bit more versatile if I need to take the coat off and I can take an extra sweater. I don't know. I kind of really like the fact that the coat matches so well with the pants and it's a short coat so it's kind of acceptable and it's really soft. I'm gonna put it on the screen where everything is from in case anyone is looking for it. This one, I accidentally ordered it a little bit too big so I would size down on this one. But I don't know, let's choose the shoes. I also happen to found the perfect shoe match, but this would be too much. And since I don't know how much we're gonna be walking today, I just don't want to shoot myself on the foot quite literally with this ones. But I love this ones. They are from Jimmy Choo and they're suede. I think this ones I'm gonna take a bit more advantage when I can start wearing shorts with a short coat or a blazer because they're gonna be just hidden behind the pants and 
that's not what I'm looking for. So I think the Lorapiana are gonna be better for today. They kind of match both outfits, so I'll just pick between the sweater or the short coat and probably brush my hair a little bit. Okay, so now we're just gonna take the stickers off. I always like to remove them because if you leave them for quite long, the hardware can start oxidizing. And it's done. This one was harder to take off than I expected, but here is the bag. We have stickers fully set to go and I already put the organizer inside. Something that I was curious to see if it would suit the bag is this really in specific. Since this bag has very light handles, I just want to be sometimes careful with it. So I want to put it on and if I like it, I'll get the second one or something different. I am personally not a fan of Birkins with Twillies, but I think for certain occasions it's going to be important that I have one that I like the way that it looks because you can always stain the handles with the natural oils from your hands, makeup or whatever. So I think this is a good option. If I could find something probably white with pastel yellow would be a bit better. I think it looks really pretty with the pink, but it just adds too much pastels and too much going on. So doing quite a quick what's in my bag, this is how it looks right now. I did put an organizer inside because since it's a light interior bag, I don't want to scratch it or stain it, but I will be taking the 2D off. I think it's going to be a matter of just finding the right one that helps protect the handles, but doesn't add too much to the bag. I'm just gonna fold it and put it in a pocket inside of the bag. So the first thing is going to be my wallet and this is the Constant Slim. This is a big wallet. So only when I have like bags big enough that it's not gonna take most of the space inside I take it but this can also be used as a belt bag or as a mini handbag I do have a strap for this of course my phone sunglasses and these ones are from Mocha Studio so since we're gonna eat today at a terrace I definitely don't want to forget them lately during the winter I just leave them behind since we're vlogging a little bit I'm gonna take my Osmo Pocket 3 which is my most portable camera and also because it's so small it doesn't really take much space or weight a lot inside of the bag it's just really really practical my carry handbag hook i take this almost everywhere with me especially when we're going to eat you never know if you're not gonna be able to have space where you put your bags and you just put the bag here so this is good especially when you're in europe so you don't have to put your bag on an extra chair and have it like really close to you my microphone for the osmos this is also really good for vlogging i just mainly prefer to use the one that i have on my camera right now but this is really really good and i highly recommend i just transferred everything from one bag to another and i had three lip products besides the twilly that inside that's everything that i have i don't want it to be super heavy and i don't need that much today so that's going to be it so we're gonna go to this new restaurant well, it's not new, we just have not tried it. And it's called Fiske Bar and they have a terrace and it overviews the marina. So that's what I want to see. I want to see sun, boats, and just to have a good meal. We ended up coming by car, so I could have ended up bringing the boots, but anyway. 